Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibo Explains. This video is all about word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. Example, the price of a toy car is 385 pesos. A doll costs twice as much. How much will I pay for both items? Over given, we have the toy car which is 385 pesos. We also have the doll, which costs twice as much. And we are looking for our total payment. We can use block model approach in solving this problem because our students can visualize this problem easily. We will have first the toy car. This is our toy car. So we have one box. We can put 385 inside the box. Then we'll have the doll, which costs twice as much. We will show twice as much. Okay, we'll do that. That's going to be two boxes with 385 in each box. 385. So we can see that the doll really costs twice as much and the toy car is 385 pesos. So now the question is, how much is one doll? Because we're looking for the price of the doll and the price of the toy car, we will add these prices together so that we will know the total payment. So we need to find first the price of the doll. We can solve for the price of the doll by adding 385 pesos twice or we can just multiply 385 to 2 so let's have that 385 times 2 2 times 5 is equal to 10 write 0 carry 1 at the top of 8 2 times 8 is equal to 16 plus 1 that's 17 carry 1 at the top of 3 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 so it means the price of our doll is 770 pesos. And then the price of the toy car is 385 pesos. All we need to do is to add the prices of these two items. Let's start. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. Write 5, carry 1 at the top of 3. 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 plus 1 is 11. So it means we have the answer. We will be paying 1,155 pesos for both doll and toy car. Example, I'm planning to buy a dress worth 560 pesos for my mom's birthday. If I will buy two dresses of the same type but different color, how much will I pay? How much change will I receive from 2,000 pesos? Our given is the price of one dress. One dress is equal to 560 pesos. What if I will buy two dresses? How much will I pay at the cashier? So we're looking for the total payment. And... We're looking also for the change from 2,000 pesos. We will use block model approach to solve this problem. So we have one dress cost how much? 560 pesos. So we'll have one box with 560 inside the box. If I will buy two dresses, we will have two boxes with 560 pesos in each so we need to find first how much will i pay for two dresses by adding 560 pesos twice or we can just multiply 560 pesos to two let's do that 560 pesos times two zero times two is zero six times two is equal to twelve write 2 carry 1 at the top of 5 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 so it means the two dresses costs 
1,120 pesos. That is the answer for our first question. Two dresses cost 1,120 pesos. If we will pay 1,120 pesos at the cashier, how much change we will get from 2,000? So we can have just or subtract 2,000 pesos, subtract 1,120 pesos. Let's do that. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 0 minus 2 cannot be. We cannot also borrow from this 0. But we will borrow from 2. This 2 will become 1. This 0 will become 9. And this 0 will become 10. So 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So no need to write 0. Just write the peso sign. And this is our answer for the second question. How much change will I receive from 2000? That's going to be 880 pesos. Another example, the price of a pen is 8 pesos. An eraser costs 3 times as much as the pen. How much will Miss Ginar pay for both the pen and an eraser? Our given, the price of a pen which is 8 pesos and the price of an eraser which is three times as much as our pen and we're looking for the total payment miss jinar will pay we can use block model approach to solve this problem so that it's easy for the students to visualize the problem let us have first the pen We'll have one box which has 8 pesos inside and we'll have eraser which is 3 times as much so it means we'll draw 3 boxes to show that it is 3 times as much. We'll also have to draw 8 pesos in each box. We need to get the value of the eraser so that and add to the price of the pen and we will know how much will miss jinar will pay for the both items so 8 plus 8 plus 8 that's 24 or 8 times 3 is equal to 24 pesos so it means our eraser is 24 pesos and the pen is 8 pesos all we need to do is to add the prices of these two items. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Carry 1 at the top of the 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. It means the total payment that Miss Jinar will pay is 32 pesos for both the pen and eraser. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!